guys what's going on so I've got a little story for you today but something really crazy happened when I was climbing up in the North Cascades there was an incident and I actually just got back from the doctors yesterday everything is good for the most part but if I was shifted about a foot to the right the rock that hit me probably would have killed me and taken me off the mountain as you can tell by the title I almost died and that's because I got hit by a rock and I'm not talking like any rock I'm talking like a boulder a big ass boulder this thing could have easily been 400 pounds so about two weeks ago I met up with my buddy Carlos in Washington we went up to the North Cascades we met up with another friend of ours Mike and the three of us went to go do Forbidden Peak for those of you that are climbers out there you'll know that Forbidden Peak is one of those peaks that you just you got to do it's amazing it's considered one of the 50 classic climbs in the US and there's a reason for it it's a very exposed dangerous peak but it's also amazing and beautiful at the same time it's one of those places you get up there and you realize that not a lot of people get to experience this kind of place except for you know the few people that are up there it was an amazing experience also the most terrifying climb I've ever done in in terms of exposure what I mean is you're climbing on a knife point and a knife point is where the rock kind of juts up and it literally looks like a knife coming out of the earth off of either side of it is like a thousand foot drop and this one especially you get up to the ridge line you follow the ridge to the summit it was an hour for us and we were moving fast this single climb for people that are moving at a moderate pace takes 14 hours I'm sure you're interested why I almost died on this climb and you know it basically happened on our way up this was our third day of climbing we've already summited two peaks in the region and forbidden that was that is the peak that we were going for that is the main event that is everything that we came up there to do is get forbidden the issue with forbidden is that in certain parts of the year there's a chute that you have to go up called the cat scratch we avoided it as much as possible by going up the side doing some ice climbing which was tons of fun at a certain point you have to jump on the cat scratch I didn't have my GoPro running when all this happened because this part of the climb is actually not a very exciting part of the climb it's a lot of loose rock it doesn't look very good so I turned off my GoPro because I was saving battery for the ridge line because that is like the coolest thing about this climb so unfortunately this is all I have of footage of the area but as you can see when you're looking down the chute you can see all the loose rock how it's kind of scattered and then off the edge it just drops so what happened is we were climbing up this chute. There's three of us in a line, we're on a short rope. If you don't know what a short rope is, it means we're climbing really close together, but we're all tied into each other. So if one person falls, the other two have a split second to react and you know grab onto a rock, hook the rope around a rock, do something to save them because you know that is your only chance of survival is when somebody you know throws the rope around a rock when you're on a team like this. Otherwise, if you're just free climbing and you slip and fall, you're done. So on our way up, we got to a point where we were about, you know, 40 feet from the ridge line, and it's right there. We were climbing up the loose rocks. There was one rock that I put my hand on. As soon as I shifted my weight over, the whole rock came loose, and literally this massive boulder just it was like boom instant and it just came loose and started tumbling and as that happened I spun because the force of the rock pushed me away as I'm spinning my buddy Carlos grabs me pulls me over and basically the rock hits me on my left side because I've spun I'm facing out towards the cliff it scratched my whole arm my entire shirt was ripped it hit my knee my knee bowed inwards and then the rock kept going and it was like a very scary, terrifying thing. Carlos, my buddy, is like completely freaked out. I'm freaked out. We watched this boulder tumble and like, ugh. If I was a foot to the right and I had pulled that rock down, it would have hit me square in the chest. It would have taken me off the mountain, probably pulling Carlos and Mike with me if it didn't cut the rope, but it would have pulled us all off and you know, something that size and that force, it either would have crushed me right as it hit or it would have kept going and throw, thrown us all off the cliff. So all in all, it was probably one of the scariest moments that I've had climbing, probably just scariest in general. Like I said, that was on our way up. We were about 40 feet from the ridge line. We kept hiking. We hiked up to the ridge line. We sat down. We took a look at my knee. We did some different movements and we were like, all right, the knee's not destroyed. It's not busted. I was running on adrenaline and I was like, great, let's keep going. So we finished the climb. About an hour and a half after that happened, we summited. It was amazing. And then for the next like eight hours, we hiked down 
Got to camp, I realized that my knee was fucked. Instead of waiting there that night at our campsite and then hiking out the next morning, I said, we gotta go. I iced it for about two hours, got all this stuff in my pack and we hiked out and it was literally like the whole way out. It was just hobble, hobble, hobble. And we walked all the way out, got to the car, got a beer. What, what else do you do when you almost get killed by a rock? You go get a beer. And the next morning I woke up, my knee swelled up to the size of like grapefruit. I could barely walk. Fast forward to now, just went to the doctor, got my MRI, basically tore one of my ligaments just completely. It's like one of the, the worst that you could have done for that. And he looked at the MRI and he's like, wow, you really took a hard hit. So I'm basically stuck in a knee brace for the next three months, no hiking, no extreme things, no big adventures. And we were planning to go to Switzerland next to go hiking. So travel plans are changing, everything's kind of changing, but at least I'm okay and I was, you know, just to the side of the rock instead of right under it. Could have been a lot worse. So guys, I know if you've been following the vlogs, everything's kind of stopped. After that happened, things kind of just slowed down. I took a little time. The vlogs are coming. Everything on this channel will start going again. I'm stuck editing and not doing a ton of crazy adventures, so more content will be produced. Guys, there's gonna be a full vlog from this entire mountaineering expedition. You guys will love it. It's gonna be, it's it's a cool vlog. Obviously, the climb itself and everything we did around the climb was amazing because there's something to going out there and experiencing the mountains and doing all that. You know, mountaineering is one of those sports that unless you go out and try it, it's kind of like people look at you like you're crazy and they think, why would you ever put yourself in that kind of situation where you could just be pulled off by a rock? But there's something magical when you're out in these places, climbing these big mountains. You know, there's something magical about just being out in the mountains and being in places most people don't have access to. But guys, that is my story. That's how I almost got killed by a boulder. And guys, I'll end with some more footage from the climb. This was one of the coolest climbs I've ever done. All right guys, I'll see you on the next one.